Hello students, I am Rashmi Vadva, Assistant Professor of St. Andrew Institute of Technology and Management uh, from ETCE department. Uh, today's topic is 80486 microprocessor. Student, in last lecture we discussed about 80386. Now we'll discuss 80486. Uh, this is the block diagram for 80486 having a catchy unit, paging unit, uh, memory management unit and it is divided into two segmentation and a paging unit. CPU, this is your execution unit divided into barrel shifter and instruction unit, floating point unit, prefetch unit that is bus interface unit. So uh, functional units of 80486 are DIU, code prefetch unit, instruction decoding unit, control and protection test unit, execution unit, floating point unit, segmentation unit, paging unit and catchy unit. The execution unit executes a series of micro instruction and the barrel shifter. We have to do this in the block diagram. के अंदर आर्किटेक्चर के अंदर हर ब्लॉक को एक्सप्लेन करना है, सो एक्सेक्यूशन यूनिट हमारी सीरीज ऑफ माइक्रो इंस्ट्रक्शन एक्सेक्यूट करती है, द बारल शिफ्टर इज अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ शिफ्ट रजिस्टर्स परफॉर मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ शिफ्ट्स इन अ सिंगल ऑपरेशन, एमएमयू डेट इज मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट यूनिट कंटेन the paging unit is used to convert linear address to physical address. Also, logical address to physical address conversion is required. And the paging unit has a translation look side buffer, TLB. It keeps a cache of most recently assessed pages. And there is a control room with the control and a protection test. You can see in this diagram. This is your control. And uh, come to the 80486, basically it is a math coprocessor. And the 80486 is famous for a math coprocessor. And uh, it as execute trigonometric, logarithmic, exponential and arithmetic instructions. Uh, the cache unit consists of 8 KB code and data. The BIU, that is your bus interface unit, interfaces with memory and input output devices to 8486 microprocessor. The code prefetch unit fetches the instruction in the queue. The instruction decoding unit receives the instruction code from prefetch unit and decode them. Then execution unit execute them. Protection is very essential for the multi-user system. It helps to isolate operating system to user task and user task from each other you can see its diagram this is your bus interface unit this is your execution unit instruction decode and a sequencing five stage pipelining decode instruction queue alu register file and the cache that is control and 8k cache now come to the elements of BIU, that is address driver, write buffer, data bus trans receiver, bus control request sequencer, bus, bus control, bus size control, cache control and parity generation and control. So one by one their explanation. The address drivers are used to derive the address out onto the processor local address bus that is 822 to 831, there are 32 address lines and uh, control logic for signaling whether a memory input output or an input out interrupt acknowledgement bus cycle is to be performed data bus trans receiver it is used to get the data onto the processor local data bus during read and write bus cycle write buffer that is used to allow the bus unit to buffer to permit write operation to complete the execution instantly basically the bus size control is uh, another unit which perform uh, which is used to communicating with 8 or a 16 bit device 
causing the microprocessor to automatically execute multiple bus cycles when necessary. Fine. Basically, uh, 80486 is a bus control request sequencer. It determines the order of addressing during bus transfer. Then brust bus control logic, it is used to control the buses during the execution of brust transfer. Cache control is used to process the local buses to the external cache controller. And then parity generation checking logic is used whether the data are read correctly from the memory or not. It generates an error signal if there is an error. Fine. And um, next is uh, one more thing I have so video in this video and after this one thing will happen in which I will give you points that 80486 will get you a comparison in the processors so I have put one thing in the memory and storage management 8 bytes 8 bit is 1 byte 1024 bytes is 1 kilobyte 1024 byte uh, is one megabyte what is the value of one gigabyte one terabyte one petabyte basically ye aapki cheez use ho jati hai multiple choice questions mein kabhi objective type paper mein kisi aa jate hain to yahan maha par ye wali cheez kai bar aa jati hai next is a register organization of 486 microprocessor aapne agar aapko yaad ho to agar aapko yaad ho to uh, 386 microprocessor उसके पास भी ऐसे रजिस्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन थी उसमें क्या था वो इट कंटेन्स 8 एंड 32 बिट माइक्रोप्रोसेसर जनरल पर्पस रजिस्टर दैट इज AX ABX ACX ADX E स्टैंड्स फॉर एक्सटेंडेड ABCD फॉर जनरल पर्पस एंड उसमें भी बिल्कुल सेम थे हमारे पास वहां पर हमारे पास था AX EBX ECX EDX and ESI, EDI, ESP and EDP same as 386 and the 486 contains 6 16 bit segment register same as 80386 if you have not seen that in 80386 video you can take this from here same as 0 to 16 bit all are 16 bit and 6 that is code segment stack segment this is data segment this is extra segment. This is uh, uh, FS and GS. This F and GS is the two additional data segment resistor, nothing else. And uh, this is an instruction pointer and flag resistor. 16 bit instruction pointer hai, IP along with the 32 bit EP, EIP extended. Our pass 16 bit ka to IP. Hai. But 32 bit ka hamare pas kya ho jayega? Extended instruction pointer which holds the offset of next instruction to be executed. EIP is always uh, for the starting address of the code segment contains by the CS E flag. Extended flags contains 14 flags out of 14, 6 is conditional flag and remaining are the control and the system or sometimes it is called the status flag. Uh, 80386 may be same flag registers, tha, bas ek change hai, main isi mein cover kar deti us cheez ko. Dekhi, 0 se leke 32 bit ke flag registers hai. Ab main aapko is video mein up to all previous microprocessors, just 885, 886, 186, 286, sare hi flag uh, register mein cover ho jate hai. Dekhi, up to this 8, yaha par hai na, up to this 8, that is sign flag, SF. यहां तक आपका 885 माइक्रोप्रोसेसर तक का फ्लैग है अप टू दिस दिस वन इज ओवरफ्लो यहां आपके 886 तक के हैं फिर 186 का यहां तक है देन 286 का भी यहीं पे है 386 का यहां एज इट इज सेम है बस यहां पर एसी फ्लैग नहीं है 386 के अंदर और 486 के अंदर द एक अलाइनमेंट चेक फ्लैग ऐड हो गया दिस इज द फ्लैग फॉर्मेट फॉर 486 वन बाय वन डिस्कस कर लेते हैं uh, First is a carry flag. Next is a parity flag. Next is a a for auxiliary flag. Next Z is zero flag. Next S is sign flag. P is trap flag. Next is a interrupt flag, direction flag, 
OF is overflow flag, IUPL is input output privilege level flag, NT is a nested task flag, RF is a resume flag, VM is a virtual mode and AC is an alignment check flag. This AC is new in 8.0486. And one by one, their description is here. If CY is 1, then carry is generated. And if CY is 0, then carry is not generated. And it is set whenever there is a carry or a borrow out of the MSB or per result. For parity flag, it is set as a 1. If the result has an even parity, then it is one if a pf is a odd matlab pf is a zero then parity is odd if auxiliary carry flag if your addition or a subtraction holds a carry after from third position to fourth position of the result then auxiliary carry flag is one zero flag ye sab jo description mein bata rahi hu ye sare 8086 186 to ek sab ke liye common hai change nahi flag add description add kar dena hai zero flag as uh, it indicates that a result of an arithmetic or a logic of operation if it is set it the result is zero next is sign flag it indicates the arithmetic sign of the result after addition or a subtraction if this is one then the result is negative and if it is zero then result is positive now come to the overflow flag overflow flag uh, condition hai when indicates that the result has an exceeding the capacity of the machine and a condition that can occur when sign number are added or a subtracted now come to the next control or a status flag trap flag basically tf is a for interrupt trap flag that is a debugging feature of a microprocessor and uh, next is a interrupt flag that is a if this interrupt flag uh, controls the operation of the intr interrupt request and if it is one then int pin is enabled or it, if this is zero then intr pin is disabled next is the direction flag uh, direction flag controls the indication, uh, increase, uh, sorry, uh, selection of increment and decrement for the SI and DI resistor during string operation. And uh, next is a AC flag, alignment check flag. This, if this AC flag is set to V1, it indicates the misalignment memory address. Next is a VM, virtual 8086 mode flag. Uh, this VM flag is uh, provide 8086 enter into the virtual mode within the protected mode of 486 microprocessor by setting the flag to 1 resume flag that is uh, set to be 1 if a debug fault is ignored on the next instruction nt is a nested flag it indicates the execution of the current task is nested within the another task and uh, input output privilege flag is used in protected mode operation to select the privilege level for input output devices if the current privilege level is higher or a more trusted than IOPL then input output executed without any default if the IOPL is lower than the current privilege level and interrupts occur so it indicates the maximum privilege level allowed for the execution of input output instructions now special purpose resistor segment descriptor catcher resistor system level resistor P FPU is floating point resistor debug resistor and test resistor one by one their description is here it is associated with each segment register. The segment register is loaded with the selector for memory reference and the necessary of information is read from the descriptive table. The information includes 32-bit base address and 32-bit segment limit, etc. And the segment descriptor catcher register are invisible to the programmer, whereas segment register are visible to the programmer system level register it provide to control the operation of the on chip catchy fpu segmentation and paging mechanism fpu is floating point unit 
it contains three control and four segment address register and the control register are cr0 to cr3 cr0 is for the control the coprocessor paging mechanism on chip cache cr1 is reserved for future microprocessor cr2 is used for 32 bit linear address that cause the last page default detected and cr3 is holds a physical base address of the page directory table and the linear address is created by adding logic address to the base of the segment that is core segment data segment stack segment extra segment fs and gs and when paging is unable the page tables are used to translate linear address to physical address so up to this uh, all about the 80486 mark microprocessor architecture its uh, registers about flags Uh, and the comparison of eight zero three eight six also with eight zero four eight four eight six. Basically, eight zero four eight six is a math coprocessor. Thank you, students. Thank you so much.